Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Knack. We've got more live tournament action coming at you right now, but I do have a good friend of mine and co-caster with me today, Shakoy. Shakoy, would you like to say something? Uh, good afternoon, everybody. I'm glad that everyone came out to participate in the first Let It Ride tournament. Me too. I can't even tell you how stoked I am for the, you know, the, the completion of this tournament tonight. I am so excited to see who's going to take the win here. Um, and what we are going into, let's see, game two real quick between CVE and Thor. Thor taking a very convincing win that first game. Did you were you able to see that, Shakoy? Yeah, I was, and you know it's interesting because I played CVE and he's a good player, but uh, how easily Thor was able to just manhandle him was pretty extreme. Yeah, and it was very interesting to me that you know once he put CVE on his back, um, that he kept him there. You know he made it so that he could not drone up. He was literally on eleven drones. For the whole remainder of the game, after that one, that first attack that really went badly for CVE, you know. I'm also surprised that CVE would pick this map because of the way that he lost that first game. That was a very quick rush on a very big map, and now you're exposing yourself to a shorter distance map. If that same rush was to happen, you know, it, maybe Thor will win easier, you know. Right. Yeah, I think that's a great point. And but and, you know another reason that he may have chosen it is because he likes to do some rushing himself, and we may see he may have chosen it for that very specific purpose. I'm interested to see what he's got going for us. Mm -hmm. Looks like uh, Thor's got his gas, and he's also uh, almost done with the spawning pool, so he is definitely ahead of CVE right now. Yeah. Yep, that spawning pool just a little bit behind for CVE, so. Got a little bit of ground to make up, so I would say this is a very similar to build what we saw in that first game from Thor. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I think CVE may be in a little bit of trouble here. The uh, the game's not on normal sp on normal speed, is it? I believe is it it's faster. On, yeah, I believe it's on faster. Hmm. I'm just expecting more action action packed adventures between a ZVZ. <laughs> Maybe oh. see explosions and lings running around. I'd say this would be a safe time for you to hold your breath because they will be here very shortly, I assume. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see the productions tab. Um, CVE, has he started his... No, he hasn't. So he's not even worried about getting uh, speed lings yet. Nope. He is going straight for Roach. That's going to be interesting. Yes, it is. He likes him some roaches. I've seen him play with roaches before, and uh, Thor actually using roaches pretty heavily in that last game as well, so kind of interesting there. You know, I think it's going to come down to how many roaches can he get up in time, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, that's the trouble with one base roach against a guy who's very, very good at getting units across the map and harassing that way. And, I mean, he, I mean they're cruising out. Looks, He's got six of them right here on his ramp, eight of them on his ramp right now. Poised and ready, they look like they are waiting for speed to complete, which is only a couple seconds away. So I don't know, man. I think you're right. He's going to need some defenses here pretty quick. Especially because Thor's going for that bane lean. Oh, he canceled it and decided to go roach. Interesting. Uh huh. And that that is in full credit, I think, to his scout. Yep, he did get that zergling scout in that base. It's so important to scout. I mean, I can't stress that enough to people. Yeah. Yep. Now, um, while we have a couple minutes here, well, it's not a couple minutes because it looks like CVE is going to be committing to an attack, but um, tell us about uh, what happened for you in the tournament. Oh, man. Well, I played a good matchup against Keo. Fortunately, no one got to see that, but that was a mirror matchup. I think he was going to four-gate me and then expand off that, and I two-gate Zealot rushed him. Uh, so that that took care of that. He has a very good micro, by the way, though. But I mean, I think just caught him off guard, and you can't really do much against that. Right. Um, against oh, what's his name? Win, Winhouse. That was a pretty extreme game as well. I I figured, you know, he's a. I think he was what rank four master. Yes, very um, good. I I didn't think I I didn't feel like I could go toe to toe to him in a long game. Uh huh. So I just I tried to do something sneaky. And it just didn't pay off. That's all. Right. I liked it. It was. I thought it was really fun to watch. But yeah, yeah. those. Uh, he was just able to get just the right amount of units. Mm -hmm. 
off the line when he needed them, and it turned out to be pretty brutal. Okay, two attacks going at the same time. Looks like CVE is still committing to this attack, doing pretty well. Yeah, he's gonna have to. I, I'm, uh, well, CVE's got enough defense that it's smart that Thor's going back because he wouldn't have been able to do much damage. Right. It looks like very this... good at harassment though by CVE. Yeah, and he did snipe the queen. Now that, that that's pretty good. So. And he does have the Zergling speed now, which is going to make him a little bit more effective, I think. And he, uh, the trouble is that he is just getting slightly behind in the economy, I think, at this point. And he's going to expand off that. That's interesting. Yeah. Well, you know, and I think it comes back down to, like, you know, Thor is a master player, and CV is a platinum player, and which I basically think that means at the beginning of the game you're pretty spot on. You guys should be pretty much mirrored as far as how effective you guys are, economy, build strategy, etc. Uh -huh. But mid game, you know, now you start to see why people are plats and other people are masters. Right. And you know, I think the lower you go in the tiers, for example, plat versus a master, you know, you're gonna start noticing that. You know, C V E shouldn't have went all in on this attack because now he's left himself wide open and his economy is not there yet so you know it's just interesting to watch Thor is going to play defensive and get his economy booming on two bases while CVE just stays on one right yeah and he's I mean this is basically what happened in that last game is now we've got CVE with 13 drones right now not really able to drone up he's committing to an attack he's trying to make something happen with these zerglings <laughs> can't make it happen and there's the GG from CVE Ooh, wow. Just like that. And so, congratulations to Thor. He will be moving on in the tournament. Uh, shucks, CVE. We, we sure love having you come out. He's played in all of our tournaments thus far. And uh, hopefully we'll be seeing him tomorrow night as well. But that was tons of fun to watch. My goodness, Thor, very, very methodical. Very well done. Any last words, Shikoi? Uh, you know, I agree with you. And uh, good luck to CVE tomorrow if he comes out and plays. Absolutely. Never alt tab, always alt starcraft. We'll see you guys then.